we have Travis at Coachella. That's right. After the live show, Travis didn't stop being out of the house. He took a plane over to California and went to Coachella. Music festival, not your first time there, Travis. You and I have both been numerous times. Um, yeah. It's a fun weekend of festivities. Man, I How love live it? music, man. I absolutely love live music. Hard to I don't beat. get enough of it in my life. I really enjoy any event. Like I just like going to events, going places where people are, um, seeing uh, talents that all these talented people in the world. Like I just like to like to experience that type of shit. Like I love uh, experiencing new cultures. That's the one thing that I really enjoy about Coachella is that it's not just one genre of music. Genre, I agree. It's everything. It's yep. everything. I mean, that's where I first saw Chromio. Dude, the Shout Funk to Lords. Chromio. Man, I fucking love the Funk Lords. They really do have every genre you could think of at Coachella. I mean, not a lot of country. Every single acts. one. That's not like a couple their years main ago. Thing. Danny Danny Elsman, like composer, he had like a symphony playing in the desert. It was unbelievable. They got but everything there. Was, there. Yeah, it's always they got like everything. creative, good artists, like great yeah. artists. Yeah, I always, uh, I always appreciated it, man. And um, it was fun. It was fun getting out there and uh, seeing a few, a few, uh, a few new bands that I really wasn't like that familiar with, and just became an absolute lover of their music because of how they perform and how they yeah. captivated the crowd and got everybody nice. into it. The Bleachers, like I Jack Antonoff, um, absolutely ripped it. And I had so much fun seeing him go go nuts with the guitar and um, all his uh, all his boys. He had two two sax players, two drummers, two guitars, and they just ripped it. And it was so much fun. Everybody kind of had their own uh, time on the keyboard. It was um, that was fun as hell to watch. One of my favorite bands out right now, Jungle. Uh, they absolutely killed it. Nice. Um, Played one of my favorite songs called Casio, and I was out there Casio. grooving to that joint. Yeah, Casio, playing on oh, my heart is like. Gosh, who else did I say? Oh my! How could I forget my guy Dom Dalla? Dom Dalla, one of my favorite DJs out here, man. Dom Dalla, Dom Dalla, yeah. He um he absolutely kills it every single time. And sure enough, uh, it was his own set at uh, Coachella. He did two sets. He is uh he's also in a um, combined DJ group with John Summit, and um, they did one the day before, so I didn't get to see that one because I was still working, but um, Saturday was such a fun, fun day, man. And um, yeah, I love I love going to Coachella, man. Hopefully I can keep going, but um, obviously you know the schedules always fill the fuck up real quick in the off season. Dude, the one thing you got to be ready for at Coachella, you got to take your time. For, it is some walking and dancing. Like, you're moving at Coachella. There's like seven different stages. Yeah. I guess who'd you? We know who you went with. We saw the pictures. All right, we know who you went with. <laughs> she was, was supporting the uh, the was new the heights. Difference, big big new heights was, supporter. Yeah, sold out of the green hat real quick. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's a good, it's a good color green. How was Coachella different? Because I expected you guys to be backstage, like mostly, like with the musicians, right? But it seemed like you guys were like in the crowd. I like to see it front from the from the fans perspective like the people yeah. that actually like like because i am i'm a i'm a fan of the music i'm a fan of live shows i sure. want to see it from the front of the stage yeah we we probably could have finessed it that way but i think it's just that much more of an experience if you're in the uh if you're in the pit man if you're in the the madness with all the uh all the fans Were yeah. you, are your feet it was awesome though from all the walking no gosh that's the one thing i regret every year is, is how much walking it is it's amazing every year, but it's a lot of walking. It's really not. Oh, you're out. You're out of your mind, dude. We barely, dude. We were walking. You're walking like the from stage to are, stage. You're walking to the bathroom, which is like a well. If you know walk, the terrain, back, Jason, you know how to get to each stage quickly yeah, and it's efficiently. Just, it's a lot. It's a lot. And then, and especially, like, and then you got to know afterwards where we're like walking to whatever house we're staying at. <laughs> I got a cheat code. I know where. I know where to stay. Where it's just like a quick, like block walk. Once you're, no, once no, you're no, out no, of no, the no, 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 no. I thought I had that too. I know exactly where those houses are, and it's still a no, walk. No, you don't. No, you don't. Yeah, you're, an ins oh, yeah. you're, you're insane. Yeah, you don't it's know a lot, a lot of walking. Listen, Coachella's great. Just get ready to walk. Not a sandals <laughs> event. Not a sandals event. <laughs> no, it is not. And if you wore sandals, that's what you fucking get, Jason. <laughs>
I think we restocked the the green hat though. So uh, everybody nice. head over to homage.com slash new heist to get the green hat. Uh, those are going to be uh, gone pretty quickly now that we just uh, informed everyone. I know I'm going to buy a few. Uh, I fucking love that green hat. That's uh, really, a really good shade of green. Coachella is always fun. Shout out to all the performers. 